need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can use pen mode in Microsoft OneNote to activate and use a stylus pen with a tablet PC to insert drawings and handwritten notes into your notebook pages. To use pen mode, first select the Draw tab up in the ribbon. At the far left end of the Tools group, notice the Type button located right here. If you're using version 2010 or earlier, this is called the Select and Type button instead. When that button is selected, the pen is turned off and you can select text and type on a keyboard as we've been doing throughout the course. To enter pen mode, click to select one of the available pen or highlighter buttons in the tools group of the ribbon. You can click the more button in the lower right corner of this tools group to expand the group and choose from any of the available writing instruments. Here's the more button, give that a click and make your choice. You can also select the Colors and Thickness button. Let's take a look at that right here. And that's called More Colors and Thickness Options in 2010. But this opens up the Color and Thickness dialog box, also called Pen Properties in 2010, where you can switch between the pen and the highlighter by making that choice. You can choose a thickness from the options below and you can also select a color in the line color area and then click OK. Now at the bottom of the expanded tools group in the ribbon, let's take a look at that again, you'll see the pen mode command and if you hover your mouse over that command a side menu will appear where you can click to choose how you want to use the pen tool. You can select to create both handwriting and drawings, create drawings only, create handwriting only, or use pen as pointer, which allows you to use your pen like a mouse to click on your tablet by tapping the screen. Once you select a pen, your mouse pointer will turn into a dot on your screen representing your pen tip. You can then start writing or drawing using your tablet pen or even the mouse on your computer. Once you've drawn on your page, you may find that you want to manipulate the results. To do so, first click the Type button in the Tools group, and then click anywhere on what you drew to select it. So we can go down here into what we drew, and you can click to select in here. So you'll notice here that when I click on the S, it only selects the S. If I go back here, and I click down, you have to sometimes click around. There we go, we have the U selected now. And the reason for that is that when you're in pen mode, whenever you lift your stylus or you lift your finger or whatever you're using to write with, anytime you lift it off the screen and start writing again, you create a new element. So each of these letters is its own element and so is the question mark. We'll be looking in the next lesson at how we can select all of these elements all at the same time using the available tools. Once you have a drawing selected, you can use the resizing handles if you want to click and drag to change the size of the drawing as well. Now also, once an object is selected, you can move your mouse up and slightly to the right to reveal the mini toolbar that shows up. Let's look at this. Let's go ahead and select here. You'll see there's a toolbar that pops up for us. And here we can access various settings like the pen properties. 
that we just looked at and any other properties that are available within that particular menu. Now drawing and writing are performed in the same manner. Make sure that you have handwriting enabled in pen mode area that we discussed earlier. You simply select your pen and start writing on your screen with your pen of your tablet or again even with your mouse on a PC if you really prefer to do that. In the next few lessons we'll be looking at how we can manipulate our handwritten notes and drawings. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.